my KCT 2026 aspirants, so do you have this confusion that which books you should refer for KCT examination? If yes, then don't worry because you are not alone here. Every year, thousands of students have the same doubt whether to refer uh, NCRT book, whether to refer guidebook, whether to refer question bank and so on and so on. So, what if I tell you that if you carefully choose four to five books, your entire KSET syllabus will be completed. Would you believe me? So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly those books that you should refer. So after watching this video, you will be very clear which books you should read, which books you should use for question practice, which books you should use for revision and which books you should avoid. Okay. So once uh, you have already known what this video is about, so let's prepare your KSET book list now. Okay, so first we have to understand that what are the four pillars of cracking any exam. To crack any exam, we need first of all to understand that our concept should be very clear. Okay, you should be having that mastery, that grip over the concepts. The second thing is solving PYQs. This is very, very important to understand that what exactly the pattern of questions is being asked. For example, if I tell solutions chapter, okay, from chemistry, it is asked in JE also, it is asked in NEET also, it is asked in KCT also. But what is the level, what is the pattern of questions that is being asked for that you should be solving PYQs. And third one is question practice. If you do only PYQs, it won't help you to improve your uh, speed or to check how much strong grip you have over the subject. So you have to do extra question practice also. And fourth one, very important, you need to write mock test to understand your level of preparation. Okay, you have read this much, you will give a test. Now you will know whether you have actually mastered that or not. Right, so these are the four pillars and I now will be telling you for each pillar which books you should refer. So first coming to mastering the concepts. So for mastering the concepts, you have to refer only and only and only NCERT books. Okay, this is very, very important. So you don't have to refer any other book. If you find doubt in some particular concept, you're not able to understand, just watch that part in some video or some reference book, but you don't have to read the entire chapter from any other book. Please refer to NCERT book. So for physics, we have four books, uh, including PU1 and PU2, part 1 and part 2 of PU1 and part 1 and part 2 of PU2. Similarly, in chemistry, you have four books, okay, you have um, the PU2 part 2 parts and PU1 2 parts and similarly, you have biology and maths, okay. So, you have to refer for concept clarity for gripping over the concepts, you only have to refer NCRT book. But here, I will add you, in case of doubts, only in case of doubts okay go for reference book okay if particular concept you are not able to understand for that particular concept you can refer some book you can watch videos you can google it but only for that concept but uh, and like overall you have to focus on case uh, ncrt only okay now moving to the second one is PYQs. So this is again very important to understand the level and the pattern of examination, right? So for previous year questions, I have two important, uh, I'll say resources. You can follow this Disha book, okay? They have given year wise questions, okay? From each and every chapter, very small and thin book is there. You can take this to practice the previous year questions. And there's another publication also IBA who have previous year questions from 2006 onwards they have. But again, I'll tell you since the syllabus has change you don't have to go that back so five years of pyqs is enough so this one you can take or this one any one okay or you don't have to buy both any one but my recommendation is again the disha one okay Moving to the next thing is your question practice. So once you have given the PYQs, you have understand what is the level of the question, you have to practice more and more similar questions. PYQs you have already solved. Again, you are not going to solve the same questions, right? So for practice of questions, you can, uh, another two books you can refer, that is NCRT exemplar books, okay? This from NCRT exemplar, you need to solve the MCQs, okay? That is very, very good. And you can do MTG book, okay? So MTG book are this thick, thick 
thick books there are 6000 plus questions in each of the in each subject okay so you can definitely take this book and if you are taking this book you don't have to buy pyqs disha separately because here pyqs are also included but the thing is here year wise it is not mentioned in disha year wise it is mentioned that is the thing so if you can take both the books that is fine or else you can just refer this book okay so that will give you mtg book a thick book a lot of questions are there you can easily practice from here and one more thing that i want to tell you for exemplar you don't have to no need to buy okay no need to buy you can use online resources here just you can take online books solve there will be 15 20 questions in each chapter you can just solve their mcqs online it is fine you don't have to buy this okay so that is about question practice so we have done with concepts we have done pyqs now we have cons uh, like we have also done lot of question practice now what what are we going to do now we are going to do the mock test right so now let's talk about mock test okay so mock test is very very important to understand your level of preparation how much you have prepared how much you are lagging so these all things will be crystal clear if you appear for mock test so mock test uh, the first one is your mtg okay here you can take from mtg publication 10 mock test for karnataka ct this book is available otherwise we have one of the best resources that is abhyas kct test series 2026 okay so every year we release this last year also we have released and this is one of the best test series that is available in the market we also provide you solutions live doubt clarification classes so many things are there and it will be released by the end of uh, november december 2025 so you can get enough time to practice the mock test so i'll show you last year we had this and we also give uh, prizes for these students who crack examination and also that is all there my dear children you have to wait for it okay so that's all in this video and i hope that you have understood how we should start preparing what all resources should be fixed okay so there is no point of using any reference book in this particular examination your ncrt books are the most important and one stop solution for case examination for concept clarity okay so i hope this video was useful and now you won't have that doubt which books you should refer which books you should miss and you have a clear objective what all books you should have purchased so please purchase them or you can take uh, old books anything you can just arrange these books and start your preparation right now so all the best and bye bye